<laughs> so now we're going to be the one juggling. We're going to juggle the egg to ourselves. <laughs> Paradoxes. I keep wanting to come up with like different time travel things for every time we do this, but I think I'm going to run out. Back to the future. You may have already picked seven it. days. I don't know the theme tune to Seven Days. Seven, I know the seven, seven, seven days, 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 days. Seven, all oh, your burning fires, seven your desires. So you're gonna start just juggling now? Time to Iron Maiden. Put that on the screen. You already did Iron Maiden today. I did. It was uh, somewhere in time. Yeah. What do I do with this? Nothing. Okay. I think you need to juggle first. I know. Sorry. I need to see what the things do. Okay, here we go. Just go make sure it's Yeah! I remember! Oh. What on earth? There's something in here. Oh, because we can't tell ourselves because. You can talk to yourself if you die. There's a letter inside. Time paradoxes. And then we get ourselves killed. I don't know if this is pre or post us discovering time travel because the statue's there instead of the tree. But oh, the technically, change. the statue has always been there. If we're going to be doing that, I won't fall for the same trick again. I'm really sorry. I mean that. What trick? We could have stepped outside for like a cigarette or something. I don't know. Maybe cigarette. It maybe it loses something in translation. Cigarettes existed back now, right? Yeah. Or, you know, like cigarillos. Snuff. Cigars. Big old corn cob pipe. But we weren't in that photo. But now we will be! Thank you very much. So it's on the reverse back to the future, you fade into the photo. <laughs> oh! And we can't be ourselves because then Eckhart will be like, Ike, why are you in this picture? Are you a time traveller? What a dramatic unmasking here. Uh, Chekhov's key rack there. Hmm. Oh, I just love this robe. There we go. Scene transition. Oh no, the frying pan. <laughs> oh, fuck it. Because we told ourselves in the past to do it in the future. Yeah, I know. But Sinanigans. This is this is Bill and Ted. Yeah. <laughs> It, yeah, literally yes. Because I remember very distinctly how are we going to get into this so, prison. Does this mean that we don't have to play out the whole sequence of getting the frying pan because our past selves have already done it, despite the... Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God's sake. Yeah, no, there's a... Bill and Ted have to break into a prison at some point. I break out of prison. Well, isn't there one point? It's like, how are we going to escape? I will leave the key here? Yeah, and then they break just sort of... out of prison. And then there's one point that says, oh, Ted, don't forget the bucket above that door. At which point it falls yeah, on the guy's head. It says you need to go to the, pr back to the prison here. Uh, <sighs> this no, game! Yeah, there we go. Other people can't see me. Why? Because so they won't we? see you. No. I reject <clears throat> that. We have walked in front of people before. Back to the A hundred years ago, that's Margaretti. Young Mr. Eckhart, normal Mr. Eckhart. Uh, what's the difference? No, we need to go to the present. What? So, <laughs> I'm gonna warp to the end of the game! I know that's not what that option does. So speaking of time travel shenanigans, Chrono Trigger, right? There's a bit in that that just sort of messes me up. Mm. Two, actually, and it's the same basic premise. 
There's a point when you you do a time jump with four people in the party, and you end up going to the end of time itself, and you find a man who has just stood there waiting for you this whole time. Hmm. That kind of messes me up. Mm. Time Whoa. left. <laughs> what? Oh, wait, no. Use the pan. Spin around and hit your assailant. No, stabbed in the front this time. Who could have seen it coming? <laughs> oh. Ta da! Joke's on you, time assassin. I hope you didn't notice the clang when you stabbed me. My, what strange metallic skin you have. Use it as a drying pan. Use it as a drying pan. <laughs> Ooh. Maybe we were in that picture the whole time. Maybe. I don't. I don't know. I don't quick. remember. Can we get like a flash up on screen? Are they both there? Yes, we can. Wasn't that educational, viewers? You saw it. We didn't. <clears throat> Chapter five, half eight. Just time for the bill. Is it going to end at midnight then? Actually, yeah, there's a point. Would it end at midnight? Why? You dramatic effect. Oh, well, because we have We're to the next day. get through today, presumably. The bar. That power walker's gonna stab you. No. Power walker, what are you on? Art museum or library. Hello, Vincent Price. He does look like Vincent Price. Almost one hundred years ago. Um, oh, we're gonna have to go back in time. Say no, don't make a museum. Make a library. No, wait. He said it was a tough decision. Hundred years. Oh right, okay. You had to turn it to a museum or a library. See, I misunderstood that as a hundred years ago he made the decision yeah. whether to go to. <laughs> well, okay. Scroll down to that frying pan again. Give me a sec. Right, okay. So that's going back to the bar. Um, like so, yeah, frying pan. What good is this for? It Absolutely literally just nothing. saved your life. Also, yes. Absolutely nothing. Good God, say it again, y'all. Okay, so we're going to the uh, we're going to the bars, mate. Uh, let's see. There's nothing in the antique shop. At least that antique where, shop was a huge red herring, wasn't it? Will we be able to pick up a battery if we go past the former alchemist house on the way? Well, there are only sometimes there. I'm going to quickly have a look in the photo shop. If that's the front door, which it isn't. That door's just painted on. All right, where's the way in? Um, there I am right next to it. Maybe you can't get to it this time because it was the because it closed in into the photo shop, shop according to the thing. Well, even then, usually there's like a fleur de lis saying, "Here's the door," even if the only interact dialogue is that it's closed. I just, I think I just remember in the antique shop. Right. So this is the side from the photo, the former photo I'm shop from a hundred years ago. Yeah. yeah. So we have to be nineteen oh two to get into the or nineteen oh one. Hey, bro. <laughs> it's all lit up now. Do you think that's because it's a dynamic model and it's not modelled into the geometry like the houses? Could go for dinner in the church. Could be. Oh, look at that ladybird book font. I <clears throat> see that. That's called Bubble Body. Hmm. Were you with me this one time? I forget. We went to Manchester for something, probably wrestling, and I have this weird thing where I have to name fonts that I spot. Bangers is a pretty good one, otherwise known as the best friends font. Hmm. And Connor turned and went, that is the nerdiest thing I've ever seen you do. Which is weird given that Connor has known me for some time and is part of these videos. I don't mind, that kind of reminds me of that, that strange sketch of being a Peter fan, was it Comic Sans Man? Where his entire ability was just to change any font he came across to Comic <laughs> Sans. Oh, my mildly inconvenienced. I can't remember what it was, it was just a showdown between him and another superhero which had the ability to change it into a different type of font. 
I'm not sure which one, but I imagine it was Papyrus because that's the equally second most reviled font. I may have used Papyrus in a series that's getting uploaded at some point. <laughs> oh dear. That's how good of a start we had. I'm like, nope. Now this is happening. Well, let's go to the mm. comic Papyrus. <laughs> you say. Artificial life, you say? Redstone, you say? The Sorcerer's Stone, you say? Good thing we didn't carve it into a necklace. Oh, now we should go back in time and save <laughs> that last. Oh, how? really? Is this how one of the... How... It, it, wait, no. Yeah, this is going to be the catalyst for us and going and saving our friend. No, nothing else, just, oh, man, let's go to... Oh, well, best go to the museum. <sighs> then again... In his perspective, it's only been, what, 20 minutes since that happened? Or half an hour? Oh, yes, I know that. That's the other thing with Chrono Trigger. There's a point when um, there's a woman who wants to make a forest grow, but it will take 600 years, and no one's going to keep the thing going for that long, so you leave the robot. Oh, yeah. And then you just jump forward 600 years, and, like, it's nothing. You're just there waiting. And suddenly this cult has sprung up around this immortal man that just sits there waiting and when you reboot Robo it's like oh it's her who's gonna go get dinner after they were doing oh poison poison little bit of salt you say that sounds kind of suspicious wait a second someone wearing a grey sleeve Mm. oh I thought it was the woman in that pink top no, well, I thought it was a grey sleeve. It was like kind of poking through the, um, poking through the rails of the banister. Can we oh, okay. not eat the food then? No, because we don't know. What if this assassin is just the woman we sent back in time and originally said, "You left me in the past." <laughs> oh, that—that's <laughs> even better than my idea. My say, my idea is that we're the assassin and we really shouldn't get to the end of today. But I like your idea better. Hmm. Good to know. Pentagon! Dummy. <laughs> You're a little strange. Oh goodness. But you see, the digit batter's gone up to that age because of the moon. Whatever it is, please don't forget the red stone. Oh yeah, okay, so Margaret is the daughter of Dr. Wagner, I'm assuming. I know she's the alchemist's daughter, I don't know that we have been given the alchemist's name. Dr. Wagner. Then yes. So And then we fall over because we're poisoned. Hold on, so what's the main thing that Philosopher's Stones are meant to be known for? In uh, alchemy? It facilitates alchemy. Whether that's turning stuff to gold or whatever else. There we go. <coughs> I was kind of wondering if there's any like immortality rubbish that can come from Philosopher's Stones. Um. Did you see the Harry Potters? And other media as well, but then again, I always think that's more popular adaptations because you know popular literature is based on well, the media. So I wasn't going to say I don't think that's the thing, but it's just what Harry Potter did and other people copied. Yeah. That. See, I was assuming that's what Harry Potter ha said the Philosopher's Stone did because yes, that's, that's what the Philosopher's Stone does. <laughs> Do you know what you died of? What? I'm trying to sea hair. Okay. Oh, is it Fugu? Don't order the Fugu! Mm. Uh, the library. The library, you say? So we need to go back in time and make it be a library, not an art museum. It was never a library. But it was going to be. But we convinced it to become an art museum. And then the thing that we knew as an art museum anyway though we've never known it as a library 
Right, but like the, the guy was going to make it into a library or a museum. We said, isn't this the museum? And that's what inspired him to... So adding more to the theory about the, the one we got trapped in the past basically being quite furious at us, if she had the stone, and the Philosopher's Stone can potentially make you immortal, she could effectively have lived up to this time, so... So she's the fortune teller! Possibly? She Basically, she could be very much alive in the modern day right now and capable of... <laughs> Maybe she wants us dead. Well, it depends. We've, we've already established that... Really. Some sort of immortality, techno babble science is going on, yeah. right? We're not playing in our world, if you see what I mean. So something's up. Okay. She is the hint giver of the games. Yes. Luckily, this doesn't cost five sabers. Incidentally, the American title for this game is The Shadow of Destiny. Hmm. I think that's a bit of a better title. I think it's a more apt title, but it sounds bad. Like, that's a bad sounding title. And also, it sounds more like heroic, not. I'll be honest, it didn't remind me of Spear of Destiny. Um, but, yeah. It, it would be one of the few instances where the Americans got the best name. And the other example is we were talking about just now is Fatal Frame. Which, which one did it think I should go to just by looking at it? Um, Mr. Alfred and the others because it's a library. Yeah. Or I could go... I, I've got two journeys. It's alright. I'm gonna go back here. There are more batteries. Four years have passed. Yeah, like, Fatal Frame is called Zero in Japan. And Project Zero in England. It's based on a true story. And America calls it Fatal Frame. That is the better title. 